Dove Cameron began her acting career in 2007 when she played the role of young Cosette in the Bainbridge Performing Arts stage production of Les Miserables. In 2008, she had the lead role of Mary in The Secret Garden. Then she joined the coveted House of Mouse, and her life has never been the same since. Well, all good things come to an end, and in this video, we will talk about how Dove Cameron is shedding off her Disney past. Before we begin, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to stay up to date on all our latest videos. We also give away Amazon gift cards, and all you have to do is answer the hidden question in the video to join the draw. The Disney Past Dove Cameron got her start on Disney starring in the sitcom Live and Maddie. The pilot episode gained 5.8 million viewers, which was the most watched in total viewers in two and a half years since the series Shake It Up. Disney Channel renewed Liv and Maddie for a 13-episode second season slated to premiere in fall of 2014, which was later expanded to 24 episodes. On December 22, 2015, Liv and Maddie was officially renewed for a fourth season, becoming the ninth live-action Disney Channel series in history to achieve this. Later, she was cast in the musical film franchise Descendants, in which she played Maleficent's daughter. Descendants is by far one of the most successful Disney originals. Before the original film made its TV debut, it was viewed more than one million times on the Watch Disney Channel app. It was then viewed by 6.6 .6 million people on its premiere night and 10.5 million viewers in early DVR playback. Shortly after the premiere air date, ratings showed the film was the fifth most watched original movie in cable history. Descendants 2 was viewed by 8.92 million viewers across six networks on the night of its premiere, up from its predecessor in 2015, and at least 13 million people watched a minute of the film. On Disney Channel, the film was watched by 5.33 million viewers and topped the night on cable television, receiving a 1.20 rating. Although down from the first film, it was the most viewed telecast on the network since the first film. Descendants 3 was also successful as its predecessors, especially since it was one of the last projects by Cameron Boyce before his death. Dove was at the peak of her career while she was working on Disney, but those glory days had to come to an end. As she came close to the end of her time with the company, Cameron realized she craved creativity, something that made her feel more like a participant more than a watcher within the industry. In addition to leaving Disney Channel, she also said goodbye to her co-star and close friend Cameron Boyce, who died from epilepsy last July. Battling Mental Health Those who know Dove Cameron understand that as much as her life is glamorous, it has never been very easy. The actress shared in various interviews that there were very difficult episodes in her life, such as her father's death, eating, and anxiety problems. She was also bullied in school to the extent that her schoolmates once threw blades at her and told Dove to kill herself. Landing a role on Disney and eventually getting famous helped her in her teenage years, but fame also comes with its disadvantages. The former Disney star admitted being in the spotlight in her teens affected her mental health, and her fragile nature left her experiencing a lot of ups and downs. Struggling to maintain that squeaky clean image created an insurmountable amount of pressure for her due to the incredibly toxic celebrity culture that seemingly demands stars to be perfect. The pressure is usually worse for Disney stars who are expected to be perfect all the time. Many former stars have suffered from mental disorders after leaving Disney and resulted in drugs, but Dove Cameron found a better way to shed off the mental burden. She recently opened up about going to therapy, and she encouraged her fans to view therapy as something positive. It was a bit harder to face her challenges when Dove was working with Disney since she was younger, but now she knows how to manage her mental health. Dove admits that she still faces struggles and sometimes cries so much that it makes her sick. Currently, being cooped up due to the coronavirus pandemic has been a hurdle to her happiness, but the star is self-isolating with her actor boyfriend, Thomas Dougherty, and her two cats. At least she has company at a time when some people are forced to stay alone. We are still waiting for that glamorous wedding between Thomas Dougherty and Dove Cameron, and we can't wait to see the adorable kids they will hopefully make together. Music Dove Cameron is also putting her Disney Channel days behind her and budding with a new music career. She has sung many Disney songs and covers, but those songs never really communicated her heart and her mind. Cameron released a cover of On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons as a promotional single, and her cover peaked on the Billboard Kid Digital Songs chart at 17 and spent three weeks on the chart. In 2015, Cameron and Ryan McCartan formed a band called The Girl and the Dreamcatcher. On October 2, 2015, they released their first single, Written in the Stars. The band released their second single, Glowing in the Dark, on January 29, 2016. As we all know, the band is history, just like the relationship between her and Ryan McCartan. Soon after leaving Disney, Dove Cameron signed with Disruptor Columbia Records. She explored other options and began working in the studio with seasoned writers and producers like The Orphanage, Jonas Jayberg, DeLacy, Carly Page Waldrip, and Chloe Angelides. After years of waiting and Instagram teases, Dove Cameron made her millions of social media followers happy in September 2019 by officially releasing two songs, Bloodshot and Waste. 
For both, Cameron wanted to approach stereotypical coming-of-age feelings from fresh angles. She describes Waste as one of her absolute favorites, and she wanted to step away from the melty, drippy, sappy love songs she tends to loathe. The song was clearly inspired by Thomas Dougherty. Bloodshot, on the other hand, is about heartbreak, but Dove Cameron said it had nothing to do with her ex-boyfriend Ryan. Then she released another song, So Good, which exudes a mood of youthful carefreeness with an addictive beat that makes Cameron stand apart from her other Disney peers. The video symbolized a new beginning for the singer where she graced in front of a plain background surrounded by flowers, making it clear that Dove is blooming into her own artistry. Then she released Out of Touch, and recently Dove Cameron released another number, Remember Me. On Remember Me, Cameron paints a picture of a passionate relationship, filling the verses with imagery of moonlit PDA, karaoke, and photo booth pictures. Cameron had a music video all planned for the song, which sadly wasn't able to be filmed due to lockdown. However, she has just released a lyric video based on her idea, which centers on a nostalgic, overly iconicized, femme fatale, villainous beauty theme. Her choices of the song clearly reflect on how she's passed singing the Disney songs and how she's moved on to singing deeply meaningful songs. Generally, Dove's music has been perceived well by the public, and she has promised her fans more music in the coming months. Changing Physical Image Working with Disney entails handing over styling rights to the company. Disney is very keen on image, and they always make sure that their actors represent exactly what they want. Since their target audience is mostly kids and teenagers, they try to avoid anything that would trigger controversy when it comes to image. Remember Bella Thorne? She almost got fired from Disney because she wore a bikini and posted the photos on social media. Well, Dove Cameron always looked great on red carpets and interviews, but after leaving Disney, she switched up her looks a bit. One of the first things she did after wrapping Descendants was dyeing her hair lilac. Most people believed that it was a sign that she was finally free from Disney, and others believed she dyed her hair to pay tribute to her character Mal, who had purple hair. The day before her hair reveal, Dove posted a video getting a super painful ear piercing. Dove Cameron also seemingly accepted her body more after leaving Disney, and to prove that, she posted a braless photo, which drew a lot of criticism. Most parents complained that the photo was inappropriate because their kids followed Dove Cameron, who was a Disney star for many years. Well, their complaints obviously fell on deaf ears because Dove Cameron recently posted another braless photo. For the sexy snap, Cameron wore a leather blouse with puffy sleeves, which she styled with a pair of dark denim pants. However, she went bra-free while flashing her bare cleavage beneath the blazer that was left partially open. Gone are the days when Disney told Dove Cameron what she could or could not wear. Tattoos Disney doesn't mind if actors get tattoos, as long as they are not visible on set. To prevent all the hustle of covering up the tattoos, most people prefer not to get visible tattoos until they leave the production. When it comes to the number of tattoos, Dove doesn't come close to Miley Cyrus, but she has quite a number of them with different meanings. Racking up nine designs in total, the Descendant star proudly sports a Gemini symbol, an X, the words Mateir de Toiles, which means star stuff. The expression Anatre and Immortal on birth her wrists, a snake, the phrase Do it for Aphrodite, and a phrase frequently said by her father, Candy is dandy. Her latest tattoo is a tribute to one of the people who was taken too soon from the entertainment industry, Cameron Boyce. Dove decided to get a pistol with a flower coming out of it tattooed on the side of her arm and near her wrist. She explained the tattoo has a double meaning. Not only is she anti-gun and pro-gun regulation, but the movement was dear to Boyce, who Dove Cameron admits she misses every day of her life. The perceptions about tattoos have changed over the years, but they are all still perceived as dangerous, dirty, and generally belonging to a class of undesirables. Especially in a Disney environment where actors are expected to look innocent. Maybe Dove Cameron will add bolder tattoos to her collection to emphasize the journey of shedding off her Disney past. Mature Roles For most Disney stars, the transition from Disney to other mature roles is never easy because there is always the tendency to typecast and lack of trust from other productions. Most Disney stars end up becoming full-time singers, but the lucky ones get opportunities in acting. After Dove's remarkable performance on Descendants, there were rumors that she would star on Wicked. A movie adaptation of Wicked is hopefully coming in 2021 and we still don't know who will be taking on the starring roles of Glinda and Alfalba. However, rumors circulated for months that Dove Cameron and Ariana Grande would take up the iconic roles in the movie. Kristen Chenoweth, who played Glinda in the Broadway run of the musical, also voiced her opinions on Dove and Ariana starring in the film. Kristen first picked Dove as her Glinda of choice back in 2016 and in an interview with VH1. So far, nothing has been confirmed, but Dove Cameron would be delighted to play the iconic role. IMDb doesn't list Wicked as one of the movies in Dove's list, but we can confirm that she will star in two upcoming movies, Vengeance and Isaac. Vengeance is an upcoming American horror thriller film written and directed by B.J. Novak in his directorial debut. It stars Novak, Issa Rae, Ashton Kutcher, Dove Cameron, and Boyd Holbrook. 
Jason Blum serves as a producer under his Blumhouse Productions banner. In Vengeance, a radio host from New York City attempts to solve the murder of his girlfriend and travels down south to investigate the circumstances of her death and discover what happened to her. Devil co-star opposite R.J. Mitt from Breaking Bad and Isaac, a psychological thriller that is not finished filming. Josh Weber is at the helm, directing from a script he co-wrote with Christopher Neal. The story follows Isaac, who meets a friendly waitress Cassie one night at a diner. The pair set out to commit a revenge murder together in the name of love. We are sure more projects will be coming Dove's way, and we are confident that she will do a great job in the mature roles. Like most of her fans, we're glad that Dove Cameron didn't become a statistic of how former Disney stars become train wrecks after leaving the company. So far, her transition has been smooth, and we can't wait to see what she has in store for us. What role would you love to see Dove play in the future? Answer this question to join our daily draw for Amazon gift cards. This has been Riveted, and we publish amazing videos daily.